Do you think that the ocean is a silent place? If you said yes, I'm sorry for you, but you're very wrong. The ocean is packed with sounds of all kinds and the majority of the noise is made by animals. Because you know, fish can talk, for real. So now you're probably wondering what does the ocean sound like? If you ever went snorkeling on a coral or tempered reef, you might have noticed a background crackling sound like this one. Have you ever wondered what that crackling sound is? I initially thought that it was caused by the pebbles being moved around by the swell. But then I noticed that the sound was still there even when the ocean was completely flat. So what is it? You'll be surprised, all that noise is made by an animal smaller than a finger, called snapping shrimp. Yes, these shrimps can be so loud and abundant that you can acoustically hide a military submarine around them. These shrimps are extremely common, but hard to see, because they hide all the time in crevices and under rocks. These shrimps have a specialized claw, so powerful, that when snapped, it shoots out a jet of water at an incredible speed that basically tears apart water, producing a cavitation bubble. When this cavitation bubble implodes, it makes a super loud noise that is second only to the sonar of a sperm whale. Yes, you heard right. In fact, snapping shrimp's claws are like tiny shotguns able to shoot cavitation bubbles. How cool is that? These shrimps use their specialized claw to kill prey, fight and also communicate with their buddies and partners. Like if this wasn't crazy enough, when these tiny cavitation bubbles implode on themselves, they produce light and they even reach the temperature of the sun for an instant. Crazy stuff. So, the snapping shrimps really set the base down there and we can consider them to be the drummers of the ocean. What about the singers? Well, to find the singers we must pay attention to what the fish are saying or singing. Yes, you heard right, fish can talk to each other just like birds do. So let's listen to some fishy chit chat. Funny right? They sound a bit like toads to me, don't you think so? So, why scientists like myself study underwater sounds, also called soundscapes? These sounds, even if not as pleasant as those made by songbirds on land, can tell us a lot of useful information about the ocean. For example, in my research I study how climate change and pollution might affect the quality of these sounds. And this matters because baby fish use these sounds as a cue to find a home in the vastity of the ocean. A bit like when you're on the street looking for a party house but you don't know where to go and you simply follow the music to find the right house. Alright, so that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will leave you with this beautiful quote from the pioneer of soundscape ecology, Bernie Krause. A picture may be worth a thousand words but a soundscape is worth a thousand pictures.